The Ivy Wild streetcar station was actively being demolished. The city of Boise took ownership of the, of the building and we were able to preserve it and bring it back out on site, pretty close to where it historically was. I wanted the building to carry a little bit of mystery with it. Painting everything white, all of the still life elements and the streetcar frame are all white. They're supposed to kind of recede a little bit so that your eye can really pick out the, the real artifact on the site. The artwork and the, the elements that give context to the actual artifact are just sort of ghosted in there. Understanding how the streetcar system worked throughout the 30 years that it was in, in service was really important. People that would take the streetcar to a place in the valley that they normally wouldn't go to on the weekends and have a picnic. Businessmen commuting, reading stories about how freight was moved um, east and west across the valley. The entire loop itself really did create this wonderful transportation connection between all of these separate communities in the, in the Treasure Valley. What I was sort of insistent on is, is allowing the research to drive the form, the research to drive how we put the plaza together. And so the streetcar station and the streetcar itself are oriented to address the furthest westernmost point of the uh, Boise and Inner Urban Line out in Caldwell. Our trolley station faces their trolley station, kind of completes the loop again, just sort of in the imaginary realm. Boise developed at that time according to the rules of the streetcar rather than the rules of the automobile. Although the rules of the automobile eventually took over, the rules of the streetcar were always pretty sound from a community development standpoint. So yeah, I have a little bit of manufactured nostalgia for that since I didn't live through it.